Hi, I'm Emily Treichler. I'm a clinical psychologist and an assistant professor at the University of California, San Diego in the Department of Psychiatry and a research psychologist at the VA San Diego and the Mental Illness Research Education and Clinical Center. And today I wanna to talk to you about coping with depression during the pandemic. So uh, studies are finding that there is an increase in depression and depressive symptoms during the pandemic, which makes a lot of sense because a lot of the things that we usually do um, that help improve happiness and decrease depression or help us at least cope with our depression are less available to us during the pandemic. Um, so that includes things like spending time with friends or family, engaging in other value-based activities, um, like going out or um, going to the gym, things like that. They're less available to us right now. And that can increase, uh, increase depression. And overall, that, that loss of routine that a lot of us are experiencing is also a risk factor for depression. Uh, and so today, so today I wanna to talk to you about how to deal with a loss of routine and how to use activity scheduling to help manage depression and cope with depression. So one of the things that is common with depression is called the, kind of the cycle of depression. And what happens with that is, is when we're feeling down, we often uh, have a low mood, we have a loss of energy and a loss of interest in doing things. And so kind of understandably with, with feeling depressed, we decide not to engage in those things that make us feel happy uh, because we're not interested in it. So we may spend a lot of time kind of laying around, not, not doing too many activities. And that makes a lot of sense. We're making choices that are sort of congruent with our mood. But at the same time, they actually perpetuate that mood. So it creates a cycle, right? So we're not feeling good. We're feeling down. So we don't do very many things. And, but not doing things makes us continue to feel down. Uh, so we continue to feel down. And then we continue to not do very many things. We continue to feel down. So we don't do very many things. And it, it creates this cycle that just perpetuates itself and continues our low mood. And what's happening here during the pandemic is a lot of the activities that we might usually do that would increase our mood, um, increase our feeling of accomplishment, of pleasure, of gratitude, um, help us engage with things that would prevent depression or, or decrease symptoms of depression. They're not really available to us or they're not easy for us to access. And we may not have as many people in our lives to help come by and say, hey, come do this with me. So we may have to kind of initiate those activities ourselves in a way that, that um, on a usual basis, we might ha not have to do as much. But what's really key here and what, what, what we found in the depression literature is that um, uh, activity scheduling or intervening in that cycle of not doing very much because we don't feel like doing it because we're depressed, intervening in that and that cycle is so key to managing depressive symptoms, to preventing depression, and to helping us get back to our lives. So I want to talk to you a little bit about how to do activity scheduling. It sounds very simple because it is. Um, this is an easy thing to do, but it can really help you get back into a routine that works for you um, and that can help you improve your mood. And so the first thing I want to say about this is that, yes, you may end up doing things, scheduling things that you don't really feel like doing. And that is part of intervening with that self-fulfilling cycle is that we decide to do things that we don't necessarily feel like doing. But um, one of the things that we know from the literature is that when we're feeling down, when we're feeling depressed, we're not very good at predicting how much we'll enjoy an activity and that we often end up enjoying act end up enjoying an activity more than we predicted. So that's the good news. That if you're thinking, oh, uh, I don't, I don't want to schedule a call with that friend. I'm not going to enjoy it. I just feel down. It's not going to be fun. I just want to lay around today. The good news is, is that often that prediction you have about how much you'll enjoy that call with that friend, often that prediction is wrong and you'll en end up enjoying that call more than you thought. So it's worth giving it a try. So activity scheduling, most frequently you would do it for a whole week at a time and you would do about 30 minutes at a time for each day. And the key factors here you wanna do is to schedule uh, a regular sleep, sleep schedule. It doesn't have to be exactly the same every day, but it should be around the same time. And for many people with depression, getting regular sleep every day and enough sleep for you is really important. So a regular sleep, sleep schedule and an accompanying morning and evening routine 
that includes kind of your grooming and hygiene activities, as well as whatever else helps you feel good and ready for the day in the morning. So that could include uh, your coffee or your tea, your breakfast, whatever medications you take. Um, it could include things like uh, you know, reading the news or doing the crossword puzzle or reading a book, whatever you enjoy that helps you prepare for the day it could include exercise and then a nice evening routine that helps you wind down and feel ready for bed. So typically for most people that would include putting away your, um, your devices within an hour or so before you are planning to go to sleep. Um, and then it would also include, so that morning routine, that evening routine, uh, your sleep routine, uh, and then it would also include other activities throughout the day. So that if you're working, if you're studying, it would include time for that. Could also include time for things like chores, uh, hobbies, social routines, or social activities, uh, relaxation or, or mindfulness activities, things like that, exercise. And you may find that a lot of these things you're already really doing. And so all we're really doing here is helping you do it on a regular basis, um, planned out, scheduled so that you have a regular routine instead of feeling like all of your days are all over the place. So for some of you, it may be that you're, you're not engaging in very many of these routines and you need to start kind of adding, adding those activities back in. For others of you, you may already be doing a lot of these things. And what we really need to do is have them be a little bit more regular, have the schedule be more regular. Um, and lastly, for some of you, it may be that what you really need to do is to start recognizing that although your day is much different than it used to be, you are doing a lot of things every day. And so doing activity scheduling can also be an opportunity to recognize your successes, to recognize all of those things that you are doing and all of the ways that you have adapted to the pandemic and to your life during this pandemic. So I hope that you'll take um, the time to do some activity scheduling to see how um, you can make time for the things that are important to you to help you increase your day-to-day -day pleasure uh, and opportunities to feel accomplished. I will just note here that if you do activity scheduling, it's not the case that every minute of every day has to be scheduled. You can have free time um, during your day and um, not everything that you plan in your day has to be sort of a quote unquote productive activity either. So you can schedule things like free time or you can schedule things like TV time. Um, that's all totally fine. The idea here is just to create a structure and to create time to do things that are important to you, that provide pleasure, um, and that provide time for you to engage in things that make you feel good, whether that's through being accomplished or feeling grateful or connecting to people and activities that matter to you. So give activity scheduling a try, and I hope that it helps.